Good morning, Millennium. I'm Max Lawler, and welcome back to another episode of MTV. Winter sports is underway, and Tiger athletes are hard at work this month. The boys' basketball team is hoping to right the ship following tough losses to open the season. MTV has highlights of the boys' season openers right here at Millennium. Let's take a look. Moving on to your Lady Squad, MTV looks to stay hot tonight against the visiting Owl for Your Owls. The Lady Tigers rolled to a 30-point win over Horizon last week for their fourth win of the season. Here's a recap of last week's action. Now for a quick commercial break. Hey Millennium, IV Psychology is holding a toys and clothing drive until December 15th for the organization, including all phase community services in Phoenix Children's Hospital. Please donate new and used toys to your third hour classes and IV Psychology students will swing by and pick them up. Many new toys will go to children at Phoenix Children's Hospital who will be receiving treatment at Christmas time. New and used toys and clothing will go to all phase services who will be shipped the items to families in. Thank you so much for all your donations and happy holidays. I resolutely believe that respect for diversity is a fundamental pillar in the eradication of racism, xenophobia, and intolerance. 
There is no excuse for evading the responsibility of finding the most suitable path toward the elimination of any expression of discrimination against indigenous peoples. Peace cannot exist without justice. Glad you're sitting down because we wanted to let you know that based on popular vote, you were voted based on your hard work, your likability, how you do your job. You were voted as November oh, Teacher yay. of the Thank Month, you. and you are very, very well deserved. Thank you. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Just some water. I have something that I wanted to talk to. Oh, great. Right. Well, I wanted to let you know that you have been voted as the classified <laughs> staff Aww, of the month. You lied to me. You said you weren't filming anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Graduation is slowly approaching as Millennium seniors continue to plan for their future. MTV reporters went around and interviewed several seniors on campus to find out what our future alumni have planned for next year. Here's what they had to say. Hello, my name is Mrs. Warner. I teach at Millennium High School. I've been here like forever and I've seen a lot of seniors come and go. And let me tell you something, have a plan. Leave Millennium with a plan and a diploma, not just your diploma. All right. So how's your senior year going so far? Um, well, I made the swim team last season, and I was the captain of the swim team, and that was really successful. And then now on basketball, we're on a 3-0 run right now. We have a home game today, and um, academically, I'm doing great. It's just awesome. <laughs> senior year is going pretty good. I mean, um, there's a lot of stuff to stress about, like the senior paper we just finished and stuff like that, but you just have to know how to manage your time. And also, um, I am on the basketball team. I'm one of the starters, number 22. You already know how we come in. But um, yeah, so I mean, as long as you keep up with your schoolwork and sports, I mean, you don't really get in much that trouble. Mm, it's kind of mixed. I had good times and bad times. So therefore, it's like any other year, pretty much. Nothing really different. good. All my classes are easy. It's actually a lot easier than all the seniors I knew in the past have said it was. So. Pretty good. It's going good, having a good time. Okay, so where do you see yourself 10 years from now? So I'm probably still going to be in college trying to get my medical degree or possibly studying abroad in Germany-ish. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's far away. Yeah. <laughs> my family, I mean. <laughs> Look, I'm not about to be doing this. <laughs> That's too much for me. No, but um, 10 years from now, where do I see myself? Probably with like, probably having a family and like doing something with criminal justice wise in the office. Yeah, because I don't want to be outside with the people and I'll stay inside. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Two years of community college at Australia, Australia Mountain or Glendale Community College. And then after that, I plan on going to university. I'm going to go to NAU to get my bachelor's degree in secondary education. Uh, I'm going on a mission for my church and then to college in Utah. So what's your guys' plan after high school? Um, so I plan to go to college in either Colorado or California and I want to study, get my bachelor's and then study medicine. Um,
I want to go to college too. Um, I currently have like a couple scholarships for basketball, so debating on where I want to go with that. And also, I want to um, get my degree in law or like criminal justice. So, yeah. With a good job, um, education, and maybe something in the music industry. Some are up in Washington teaching some terrible high school students like us. Super rich, uh, family, three kids, and then a nice red Mustang as a car. Thanks for tuning in, Tigers. Enjoy the rest of the broadcast. I'm Max Lawler, and this has been MTV News. How do you feel about um, this year's soccer team? Uh, this year's soccer team I feel good about. We have been giving a lot of effort. We've been practicing all year since August. We got a new coach this year, and we, we all like him. He's pushing us to do our best. We have a whole new crew. Um, the kids are mostly the same kids, but we've been, uh, since we got a new coach and a new system, we've been trying our best. Uh, we lost our first game, but we're coming back harder our second game against Mesa. Um, it is a hard, difficult, um, season for us, but we're here to just push ourselves and do the best we can. I feel like we have potential. We just need to work on positioning and getting our stuff together. I feel pretty excited about it. I mean, you know, we lost our first game 3-0. I still feel pretty pumped that we'll do better this season because uh, we're more hyped about our games and we have a lot more talent, so I'm really looking forward to see what's going to happen. I teach different levels of choir, and in there we're really working on vocal technique, how to read music, how to sight read, um, building good vocal tone, and then I also teach guitar classes. So in there we're learning how to how to play guitar, how to read music, and then in music theory we're learning how to analyze and compose music. Choirs have a concert coming up in December, so you want to check that out as we get closer. Um, I'm in the B building in room B110 down that weird hallway by the not-so-secret stairs. Lock, lock light, light, out of out sight. sight. Lock, lock, light, light out, out of out sight. Of sight. Students, move away from sight. Maintain silence. 
and do not open the doors. Teacher, lock interior doors, turn off the lights. Move away from sight, do not open the doors. Maintain silence and lastly, take attendance. <laughs>